A gold medal match here at 70 kilos, the third gold medal to be earned tonight, day two of these European championships from Budapest. I'm paying attention to that right knee of Jakobiashvili. Not sure it was that heavily taped yesterday. The only thing showing on that knee is the cap. So let's see, once weight gets put on that, what happens if he's able to keep the stability in that right knee? Ikabishvili was a 2016 Olympian, won a world championship in France in 2017, took third at the 18 world championships here in Budapest. It wasn't in this arena, it was across the street. Are we close to where we were in Budapest in 2018? Very close. Really? Yeah. I was not aware of that. I walked to the uh, old hotel today, actually. Did you? Just to kind of get my bearings of, of where we were and proximity. Huh. Halfway through this first period. Verbal warning is going to be given to Georgia. Yekabishvili. Next time he will go up onto the clock. Forehead to forehead, these two wrestlers matched up. So the clock goes up on the board. You know, when you watch Sharman Andreessen, he was on the cusp of maybe making the Olympic team last year. He had a tough day in Sofia, not his typical day in Bulgaria at the last chance Olympic qualifier. So he had that memory to really drive him in the off season. That was coming off uh, some really good performances in previous events. And it just did not happen that day. It's a, it's a tough day of wrestling. One chance to, to sneak your final two spots into the Olympics and secure your bid for your country. It's something that stings for a long time. I know just for an example, speaking of Martina Kuhns from Austria, world bronze medalist, I had opportunity to talk to her in Istanbul just about losing to Yasmin Adar. You have one, one match to win to wrestle at the Olympic Games, and it, just, it weighs heavy on you. If, you're, if you don't get your hand raised, that's something that sticks with you for the next four years. And that's where you learn how valuable family and support staff is during those times. There's a shot by Ikapishvili, and he will just drive the Armenian out of bounds for the step out point. We're tied at one. Good burst of energy. That right knee looked pretty healthy there. Look at the time. Short time wrestling. Precise timing from the veteran from Georgia. And we will go to the second period, tied at one. You know, as you look at these European championships, the Russian Wrestling Federation won all three titles last year, 22 medals. When you look at men's freestyle, women's freestyle, Greco-Roman wrestling, they won all three of the team championships. Not in attendance this year, opening up opportunities, like you said, for a lot of these younger wrestlers to get a chance for many of them, maybe their biggest matches of their young careers. Not the case with these two. These are both guys who have had success, but we've seen a lot of youth the past couple of days. And we didn't have Ukraine in freestyle, we didn't have the Belarusian Wrestling Federation or the Russian Wrestling Federation in freestyle, but we will have Ukraine in Greco and women's wrestling. But from a media standpoint, it allows us to give fans and teach fans who these younger guys are. These younger guys, younger girls, who may not get the exposure that they're gonna get this week. 
Yeah, that's a good point. You know, as you prepare for an event like this with over 400 athletes, you find yourself going deeper and deeper once the brackets came out, so you're prepared in case that moment hits. And, you know, with the absence of those countries that you mentioned, certainly the door was opened up wide for a lot of them to slide in for the first time, and they have done so, making the most of their opportunities. All right, activity clock. Andresian. Probably not a big factor for him. He's going to need to take down regardless here with the tiebreaker, but he's in danger of giving up another point, so it's going to be a two-to-one deficit. Georgia up. Yikabishvili halfway through this final period. A match in which offense has really been tough to come by. Andreeshin, head buried underneath, trying to stick in that underhook, maybe look for a turn, but bracing, pretty good stability, strength coming from Andreeshin, not allowing Yekabishvili there to get up, and a two to one lead stays the score with 52 seconds. Oh, now Yekabishvili is slow to get up. Yeah, there's blood all over the mat. It looked like he was holding the left side of his head. We saw a cut earlier. It was more on the eyebrow line, but this looked like he was holding it in his hair. Definitely did see blood on the mat. So they'll clean that up as well. able to get it stopped pretty quickly. They will wipe away the remnants of the blood on the forehead of Andresian. As he thinks through his strategies, what's he gonna do to get the takedown here? Now the wrestler has had a takedown. Step out, activity point for Yegebishvili, the activity point for Andresian. These guys are just like battering rams, aren't they? They lead with their heads so much. Trying to go around. Good footwork by Yekabishvili. Just continued to circle with Andresian. Pace picking up. Gold medal on the line. Will it be Georgia or Armenia? Looking off the arm drag. Tried to hit the go behind. Nothing there. Still has the head of Yekabishvili. Now comes in with that right arm underhook. Trying to drive him over, but again, it's Yekovishvili not giving any ground. No, he's continued to stay in the center. How impressive is that? Because Andresian is certainly coming after him. And that is it. Low scoring bout for gold at 70 kilos. Zarabi Yekovishvili is your European champion. We talked about it at the start. For all of his medals and all of his success, the one that eluded him was the gold at these Continental Championships. No more. And you saw the emotion, and that's why he's been chasing this for a long time. That final score a little misleading. Both wrestlers were really